Hello. Yeah. Uh, can sorry. we start? Sir? Yeah, I can start. We can start. Yeah. So, welcome to you all the participants in the next session of last day of this FDP. Uh, in this session, we will learn about uh, 3D printing of miniature and also the post processing. So, over to you, sir. Okay. Okay. So, so far, like I said, we we we've learned how to. Uh, obtain the designs or get the designs design uh, get it designed at the now once you have the design there there are a lot of things that you need to keep in mind or uh, uh, the things that you can that small things that you can save time on and you don't need to understand about before just printing anything uh, for example should we start now every 3d print the design with depending on the complexity needs to uh, have supports now supports are okay can you see my cura screen screen right now yes yes sir you can see my screen right okay so now let me take an example of a miniature that i had made before and uh, okay like this this is a miniature that i had made quite some time back now whenever you 3d print a model this is not regarding to uh, mechanical products now what what difference it makes is for a mechanical product you cannot print it into parts mostly because uh, once you join it there there might be an issue of clearance or because it is a working model or something like that uh, it 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 doesn't have you don't you there can be restrictions where you are not uh, you cannot cut them in parts or print it so if the part is bigger then uh, what happens is you need to have a printer that the volume size the bed size is also the printer bed size is also equally big but in my case where i most of my products are into art based so i can do a lot of manipulation where at the end of the day i can save a lot of time or material like uh, this example that you see on the screen i'm slicing it into layers into uh, layers of uh, 2 mm per layer height and once it slices i'll show you the supports that that are built up this one way. Okay, so all these all these designs, these red areas, are the areas that you see that don't have anything below. Now, in an FDM technology, uh, the the nozzle prints in layers, so you need something below every layer for a support so that it doesn't print in the print in the air. When you print something in the air, it doesn't print. It doesn't. It won't print perfect. It will be a failed print. So just one minute, I'm slicing this design as for 3D printing. So I can show you what exactly happens when when there's a design like this with a lot of these red portions. So if you notice this this whole square is my print size area. Print bed area. This specific is 300 mm by 400 mm uh, length and height. So depending on how high high resolution your design is, it takes it takes a little bit of timing while slicing. So if it, it was a very low poly design, then it would have taken less than one second or couple of seconds to slice.
So now once you slice in this software, now this is Ultimaker Cura. A designing software is different and when you 3D print, a slicer software is different. So before 3D printing, you need to have a slicing software, which is Cura. Now this, this whole design, which is at a height of 292 mm, takes around one day, eight hours, 14 minutes to print. And when it prints, it will print a bit. Huh. A lot of this material would be wasted in supports, which you can see on screen, which you will be able to see on screen in a minute. Okay, so what you see on screen is these, these this blue area is all supports because the 3D printer also knows somehow that all the things in this in uh, on which doesn't have support would not print properly. So they have these custom supports that if you I can even show you from between that this is how it is. Uh, these these blue areas are all supports that are built up for enabling 3D printing. Now, how to re remove these supports, how to avoid supports and save more time is when you cut the models in a way that, that the, there are least amount of supports, least amount of material is wasted, least amount of uh, time is wasted in, in printing these supports. Now, when you when you are into business, the value that you're getting of the order is is very important that you finish the order in a, in the quickest way possible, because then that value is is divided into the number of days taken into into making that order, like finishing confirming finishing the order. So, like this, if I have this this particular model to make. The designing procedure, if it is not scanned, then it takes around three to four days for a designer to reach that resemblance of the person. So the plus then there's a printing time of one hour, eight hour, one day and eight hours. And then there's a post processing. So if this is a value order of 2000 rupees, then if it is going to take 10 days to make this, then, then the value of this gets become zero. Because then it you have to divide that two thousand rupees into into ten days, and plus if your printer is taking that many days to the amount of time the printer is taking to print it, that that amount of time you cannot devote to any other business for that particular printer. So saving time is a very important factor. Saving material is also a very important factor when you are into three D printing. So how how can you avoid such supports? Is it's very easy. You need to cut these designs into specific ways that you feel can minimize the amount of support. So I'll I'll show you a brief uh, uh, what do you call it a brief uh, rev uh, video on how you can cut these designs taking the same design. Just one minute. So I'm XTS exporting this STL, saving it. So what we do is now this is a different software 3D builder. 3D builder is not a designing software, but rather a, a design editing software where you know you can cut designs or you know put text on designs. It is 
uh, a quite useful when as as far as for me it has been quite useful in my whole journey because the small small tasks you don't have to depend on uh, heavy heavy softwares of designing and you can just do the basic cuttings and cuts and uh, the edits of the designs with the help of this so to avoid supports what i would usually do is uh, but let me tell you this this 3d builder software is a free software which is provided by windows windows it works in windows 10 and later uh, windows versions and it is available can be can be used in any any you don't have to have a graphic card or anything for this so i select on the object and i select edit and i split it now this is a cutting pane you have an option of keeping the bottom part and you know taking out the below bottom part or you can click here and you know cut the top part and take off the top part and keep both at the same time so we are cutting we need all these parts and we are cutting at the same time so now if you see here in the preview here your majority supports are built up till here till the face so if i cut this portion separately from the face these whole supports that are made just to hold the head would come off would you know would be minimized so what i will do is i would take this cutting pane now this cutting pane can be rotated in into all direction as per you know as per the requirement of your cut but our cut is quite simple so this is how we can do it you okay, cannot go getting going into very specific cuts i'm just showing you you know very basics now so this is one place where you have you can have put the made the head separate so if you seen it is a very easy process then the other portions that you see over here that need support are uh, these hands because if you see if you notice the hands are out in the air there is no there is nothing below the hand that can give it support so that is one another place that i would make a cut so again edit and split so i would split this also now if you see we we have three parts of the phone of the of the design now very one another thing as far as miniature modeling is concerned you can you this would come in handy is now face the face is a very important part of the of the of the whole miniature because the all of 90% of the resemblance is going to come from this design so we would try to keep this this particular part of the portion at the least layer height now the layer height you have the options when it is like a 0.4 mm nozzle your layer height Uh, plays a very important role as far as the details you know because this this whole process is printing in layers so we i would suggest that you know the main portion where there are very small details like the hair and everything i i print it at a lesser lesser layer height like 1.5 layer height the more minimum the layer height is the more time it is going to take to print so uh if i print the whole model at 1.5 layer height then it is equally going to increase that much of time so to save i would i would print the the head part at 0.1.5 so 0.15 layer height and the rest of the body which is not that much equal where the details are not that this dot not that minute i would print that at a higher layer height which would save my which would be a faster print i i hope i am i am getting across clearly uh yes so that also when you cut the model you can print these parts separately and you know equally tune fine tune the 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 printer to design them in different ways so that you know time can be saved so what i would do is i would i would just save this part separately the head portion separately
and and put the head for printing separately So now, because I will be printing only the head, now if you slice this, you will notice that the supports that are required, you don't have to have to print the supports right from the bottom. You know, this would save a lot of your time. Uh, Yeah, so now this head itself requires the least amount of supports and just this much. So the whole the portion below the head where all these supports were extended, that much of your time would be saved. Likewise, the, the, you can put different parts separately to support. Now there are other options with this editing software 3D Builder where uh, you can even you can do a lot of things basically that depending on what the model needs but there's another option where you can emboss text over this like uh, if i write if i want to put the name of this person over here i could type in jigger and uh, move this to wherever or whatever portion of the body i want So, so whatever text you put, you could you could engrave a lot of things with this. Now this becomes very complicated when you uh, use high tech designs. Whereas this is a very uh, very this is a free software, and you can adjust make these all minor adjustments and minor changes. That you know. So once. One I once I put the name and then I could I can even alter if I wanted to extrude outside or if I want something. Similarly, you can even put your logos if you want company logos. Like a lot of times there are companies approaching me where you want to emboss, they want to emboss their logos over uh, some things. So now once I do that, you see over here I have embossed my name on the on the print. Same way, if if I in, instead instead of embossing it, if I wanted to extrude the name, I would do the same step. And instead of bringing it down, I would have taken it up. And then an emboss. So now the name, if you see, it has it it has extruded upwards. So these are minor things. That you can you, you don't need a high tech software. These are basic editing things that you can do from 3D Builder or there are other softwares like Mesh Mixer and uh, Netfab or Fusion 360, which are free, free and open source in the market. That you can you don't need to spend a lot, you know, for these procedures. Uh, so these are some ways you can save a lot of time, uh, pre uh, printing. And once this is done, you can start up printing to a slice, save it in a memory card and just insert into a, it into a printer. And like that, uh, your process can, your printing process can start. So now I want to show you some of after, things after the print, after printing process, how do we take it from there? Wait. So before taking you to the next procedures, I would want to show you the different, uh, uh, some of the different types of inquiries that, you know, orders that I get to show you the market, what different kinds of markets are available. It would be quite surprise for surprising for you for how many, how many different trades that this technology can help you into. So whatever available 
samples i've tried gathering some samples over here uh so so i've showed you some um, selfies that we worked on now this was an inquiry of an ips of an income tax officer who was retiring she is 60 years old and retiring from her job so her staff wanted to a uh, gift her as a memory as a memory now this 60 year old woman also plays this tennis professional tennis in this age and that is that is a special feature so how so what other way can you gift someone you know a, a selfie with with something she is known for you know other than her own private or professional life so i think this is a very good example of limitage i mean before gifting solutions were quite limited to whatever was available in the market now it 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 totally depends on your creativity or how much how much you how much more you know that person who you are gifting is is important for you and you can actually show it by the gift that you are giving now uh, another very good example of a different kind of thing is is this skull now this is not a design of the skull this is a, a scan of an a real skull at, uh, excavated yes so if a scan if if someone finds a skull like take for example a scientist uh, uh, someone found a skull and this he needs to show it to the archaeologist wants to show it to some other archaeologist in some other country you know for research and development process he he doesn't need to send this he doesn't need to send the design or he doesn't need to share the design also what if that design was was uh, was uh, was something he doesn't want to share it was a, it was a great uh, discovery by himself but so he he can he can print it like this a live model of it and then send it across so which cannot be replicated here here the main criteria of printing this was so that when he is showing the model to someone it is the some the person in front who is seeing it cannot replicate it and make his own discover make it his own discovery so a lot of and this this technology can bring it a lot of different types of advancements to different fields now there is another example of something similar this this is a scan of a job of a of a of a patient of a dentist so what the dentist has done is scanned the whole mouth and the teeth so that design can be replicated and then what happened before was there was casting there was cement casting or a silicon casting put in the mouth of the patient and then let it dry and then they took out the whole cavity the the imprint of the cavity but now that those those procedures are very odd and inadequate whereas what in this case what they have done is they have they have totally they have just scanned the 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 jaw of the person and the cavities have come in the scan so now they can totally take the shape of this and even the dimensions of the other teeth that are still remaining uh so this has been a different with a kind of inquiry jewelry is a very good aspect that we we get get good orders now like the the beginning of my 3d printing journey started from a ring that my mom wanted to gift me and my zid my my determination of getting everything done in my design so so i got my first ring design through this this technology which is a dlp technology in such technol in such prints where there are very minute details minute details when they are not they cannot be calculated in mm's but instead microns like 100 microns and 50 microns then that is where you need to you cannot use fdm technology you have to get into uh, dlp or sla technology which are which are which is also 3d printing but don't work with the same kind of materials they work with resin or polyester uh, powders so that is jewelry is a well a key area where this has been a very very and uh, very has advanced the kinds and the limitations of designs that you could be put into prints uh some other kinds of uh, printing options are mechanical products this now like i said in dlp in fdm technology 
it the 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 uh, measurement of the detailing comes in mm whereas these mechanical products need more the, the specifications the detailing needs to be in in uh, in uh, microns for the parts to sit together so for these technology thing prints like these we use sla now these these are uh, more more costlier printers where it is done through powder uh, powder printing so these these materials are in a powdered form and uh, uv light is uh, you know passed on them as per the design and they the, these powders turn into hard materials and as the layer shift they merge they merge into each other so these 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 plastics are they you don't see layers in them they are they are perfect with the perfect dimensions of the design that you want to get out yes so that is one of the uh, different kinds we have a uh, uh, companies that want to provide uh, you want to make a uh, card holders and other accessories for their brands like you know this is a very famous famous brand of uh, water tank and he wants his suppliers to keep this on a stable to always remember you know think different innovative this is one industry where always they always seek for innovative design innovative ways of uh, promoting their business so in that also 3d printing has Uh, come out with a lot of uh, uh, advanced 3D printing has given them a lot of advantages. Now this even toys like kids like right now it just some by time back our prime minister have even said that the the toys uh, industry is also a very big benefactor uh, is adds up to a lot of commit in the economy of the country. So we we start they are starting to uh, you know focus more. uh on the toy industry as well so i get a lot of orders from toy manufacturers to make prototypes also home decor like you see that that huge uh vase at the back the vase these are all prototypes of designs of uh, vase modelers where they they want to see now as a design they can only see it virtually and they cannot know as a product how how it is going to look at the place so kept on a table it is more it gives a better idea of how these pots designs could you know look in the real world so these prototypes come very handy plus before these 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 used to be uh, very getting a 3d printing used to be very costly and 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 a concept or a design in your head when you had to bring it into real life you had to uh, do sculpting carvings and all those uh pottery method used to be done but now just a thought can be designed into 3d and 3d printed like this so it is it becomes it makes procedure very fast and then if you want ten of these it exactly same a 3d printer can make it exact if you are doing it by the by sculpting or pottery if you are making two products because it is man made because it is hand made it cannot be exact it cannot be perfectly same two piece parts cannot be identically same until unless you use this procedure there are a lot of sorry there are a lot of things that was impossible to be made as a product because such such detailed it can be made into a design but you know when you make it into a live uh, product injection molding or the hand carvings cannot get give you this intricacy and that has been sorted out by 3d printing in 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 huge ways like that is a huge leap in all these states that i have referred before that 3d printing has caused uh so now the post processor post processing part now after all these uh, post processing there is a lot of like like i talked to you about support this this is one of the products we are working on right now these these things that you see they are support they are they can be easily easily removed but you need tools like a cutter to remove these support i'll remove a support and show you how how basically this this function now 
now these these tools are very handy when you get into 3d printing most of the 3d when you buy a 3d printing a lot of these tools come with the printer but yes if if you are developing working on developing your own uh, you know your own 3d printer then you have to make sure you have these small tools you know which are available in the local market or online easily plus plus you could get in touch to with me also if if you need any of these tools at any point of time so second so so these supports need to be removed i'll show you a more easy uh, thing so you know these rings because these portions cannot be printed at a high height don't have uh, surfaces you know below the design they have to build supports and you remove these supports with these cutters and specifically in fdm technology it prints in layers so when you paint these directly on plastic there are two things that you face these layers because it is the, it is the technology it is how it prints it prints in layers so these layers are going to be seen but when you provide you when you are making a product that is directly to be pro, you know sold you cannot afford to have such layer lines so that is where post processing is is comes into picture another fact is that painting directly over plastic for any paints the paints that we use for plastic are mostly acrylic paints and oil paints these paints do not need a porous material to stick on to so even if i paint this in a perfect perfectly i sand this perfect and i paint it perfect the paint is not going to be sticking there for long so what are the procedures that need to be kept in mind before uh, painting or you know post processing i'll i'll share with you in a second so firstly you cannot avoid hard hard work which comes along with fdm 3d printing these sand papers are are a gem you have to use there is no shortcut as of now with with fdm printing where you can get rid of the printers yes you can lower the amount of uh, the hard work that you have to do for post processing by you know by making the layer height lesser or giving making the print even more slower but it will increase in your time so uh, these sand papers come very handy as long as uh, you know post getting these layers of uh, there are other tools also because you know my workshop is in a different area i cannot bring those tools there are there are rotary machines like a dremel machine that 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 saves a lot of time that these are more handy than these uh, uh the sand papers where you just that, that the the movement you know you can you can drill it with hand the dremel if you see in the dremel machine then it comes very handy so these these are very important uh tools that you need to have before when you know before painting getting into painting once the print is out uh, another important portion like i said the the paints do not stick directly on plastic so there are primers different types of primers that uh that you can use now there are there are primers that you can spray it on they come in cans you can just spray it on or there are there are primers that you can just you need to brush brush it on the surface and it will dry and then you can sand it off it saves a lot of time so these price primers are important to remove the layer lines also but at the same time it also helps the it helps the paints to stick on the on the on the 3d printed model so again these 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 do wonders when it comes to post post processing uh another important factor you need to keep in mind that uh this these models they 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 are done in parts so the adhesion that you use the clearance while cutting uh, sorry while joining that the surface is not cannot in fdm technology like i said are not perfect so when you join to uh two parts like one more example is is yeah. this like this is a massive print and 
this this is a thing i did a print i did last year now this was built in in nine parts because it is not something that can be done in a single print plus like i said when you when you cut cut the designs in specific ways you save a lot of time in printing as it is a time consuming product so you have to make sure that the sanding when you sand the products when the places where two areas are meeting those areas are joined so you have to rigorously sand it a time and again you know you sand it and then you try to join them again and if them not joining perfectly then you have to sand it again use primers so this sanding and post processing becomes very important part when you're only into uh, fdm 3d printing yes if you are into sla which is which is a much more costlier technology as far as 3d printing is concerned these these things are avoided and that is why uh, such mechanical parts that need to be printed as a whole like that i showed you before cannot be done on 3d printed like the the perfect resolution cannot be done as an fdm technology you have to uh, you have to use other means of 3d printing technology uh so so yes this is this is this is what i could you know try to cover as much as far as 3d printing is concerned being restricted to the models i have with me at the place i'm giving the presentation so i would i would if you have any doubts for these so far do do ask me at these to do ask feel free to ask me your questions so i could come uh, cover the areas that you think are more important as per your knowledge yeah yeah uh, sir uh, can we have some uh, idea about uh, detailing and painting detailing and painting see uh, as far as painting giving art the the texture and painting is concerned it 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 is more of a uh, a, a practice then you know getting it right on by the first time and my setup is at a different place but yes you once you primer it your main focus is when you primering prime it and sand it your main focus is that the surface becomes smooth and the layer lines are taken off as much as possible uh most of the things that i have to get i do not need to use a what do you call it i do not used to have use a paint brush or use need that my talent of you know painting or given textures as far as uh pots yeah how do i explain like if you are if you have a product that you need to paint fully red or a product that has a major, major area then again these these spray cans are very beneficial like the primers they are there are different colors of these spray cans that i use to spray like a whole body could be sprayed into one specific color or if there are two or less some less number of colors you can mask the areas which don't need which needs a different colors and you know paint the whole thing into a single color so these spray cans help you a lot but as far as paint brush is concerned when when you are uh, printing such miniatures where you have to get the eyes and the teeth detailing that comes with practice that is more of you know having a paint brush in your hand and you know giving those details trying to bring resemblance and uh, and not not every i believe not all only 10% of the orders that i get are are products where i actually have to have, I'll have a have a paint brush in hand and use my painting skills on that but at the same time if if majority products if they do need painting also but you don't need these 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 skills you just need a spray can and you spray the whole thing with with the color required and and that is done just you you need just need to make sure you you give it the amount of drying time that uh, needs to be done and believe me not unless unless you are into you know human miniature paint painting the the brush paint brush skills are not not at all in, required and if you want that is you need you need to put in practice there is no specific way that any any artist does his paint job on this thing different artists paint in different ways hello okay okay can you hear me can you hear yeah. me 
any any more questions from the participant side i'm sure there must be a lot of questions oh. yeah uh, some participant prachi kharate is asking about have you any video in which you shape your vision to 3d printed part step by step yes i have my own wait i'll i'll show you that Okay, uh, just one second, yeah. Uh, if you could be more specific about the question, uh, in which you shape your vision to 3D printing. Uh, not as of now, like I said, that when you have a concept in mind, there is a lot of back and forth. Like when you come and get that into designing, uh, like specific specifying a uh, ZBrush when I'm doing a miniature model, like I would first design a, a rough model, a rough model of the person in of whom I am making the miniature. Okay. Uh, so what happens is like I started off with the miniature example, so I'll start, start off with that, I'll continue that and I'll give you about the ring, I'll give you information about the ring that I got made as well. So what happens is uh, there's a lot of back and forth in that where the rough model or the first output of the model, I send it to my client and he sees and then because he knows the person or he is closest to the person that that I'm making a miniature of, he would be more able to tell me that what needs to be changed if he if he feels the eyes is a bit crooked or you know if if the nose is a bit big. So he will come back to me. And it is a whole process of back and forth, coming back and forth with the client, which which uh, you know is is not a, is is it depends on the designer as as and the client as client because how many good references or the better the references he provides and the better the professional designer is to understand or make those references put into a design it 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 takes it takes a bit of time if if you know for him to come out and which cannot be uh, put into a single video as far as the ring is concerned i had to i had to draw i had to really sketch the the uh, the ring that I had in mind into a piece of paper, give it to him, you know, and then tell him that this is exactly what I want. Because before that, when I explained him that this, when when I explained the first time, he made something, but then it it was very far from what I had in mind. So very important is how you interpret the idea, like the idea you have in your head, how you interpret it to the person who's designing or how you interpret it into the design model you are designing is very important how how make how much you give importance to the proportions the measurements is very important when you when you are you know um, when you are explaining the concept to a designer because a lot of these places like i say are you you would be getting an inquiry in a business and where you would be passing on that inquiry to a third party a third party designer so you have to uh, with experience grow this knowledge of how you are passing the information from a client to the designer or how you are passing the information from a client to the software that designing software you are working on. So, so the explaining or interpreting or you know explaining uh, the concept is becomes a very important part in such scenarios. Yes. And, and it, it varies from model to model. Like like I said, there is a vast amount of inquiries, miniatures, uh, uh, mechanical products, rings. 
n number of products so so with every different type of model there is a different procedure different way to explain or a different software designing software that is to be used so it it, it varies from product to product you are welcome prachi uh, 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 if a person uh, ask a advice if he is able to invest 1 lakh rupee what type of uh, first of all is it the same printer can we use it for different applications yes the same printer depending on not at at a single time like i said if if you are having a 1 lakh printer i 1 lakh uh, uh finance a uh, budget of 1 lakh you can there are different ways of doing a business like uh, i wouldn't advise you do a business where uh, you are catering what people want sorry what happens is when you have one one hour uh, based budget let's let's take an example of this this example itself if you take one printer and you you go to the market and say that you know i want i want uh, i will make whatever you want and you have one printer so once you make that printer that print might take two days to print and post process but while that printer is there you cannot take much more business so for a business where you are catering to what people want you to make or you are providing a service of 3d printing it it cannot i wouldn't suggest or advise that you have a setup or business setup where you're taking a shop or a, or a space and uh, offering these services what it can be done in this cases is uh, how I, how i started you know uh, getting making innovative products and selling and getting into mass production of that specific product that prototype so what i did was a good example is is a face shield like uh, there are i know a, i i come across a lot of people from the 3d printing community is there is a person who's just started a new startup at the time of corona where no business was starting a business he 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 made quite a good bit of profit with the the pandemic what he did was he made one single print of a face mask a face shield and then he made a dye or a silicon dye of that and used that dye for mass production so the business has come out of 3d printing but for every product that he is mass selling shouldn't does not have to be 3d printing now that is smart work now if you if, if you are innovative or creative in that process what uh, i have done for in in what i do is i could uh, take a famous famous uh, uh, marvel character or not only that i could make a mechanism which which you know which which is quite uh okay then like for example this this is a product i could 3d print one make a mold of this and then make hundreds of these so that after making my first prototype my 3d printing my 3d printer can be used for other prototypes but at the same time because of this first model i can mass produce this and sell it differently so how how do you manage your finances and you know depending on that you make a business plan is also very important for something like a service provider who will be reaching the appro approaching the market and asking them what do you want i'll make it for you 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 obviously need more more financial backup than for this like like the place i work at uh, my office we have eight printers 3d printers fdm technology printers we have two uh, dlp 3d printers and uh, and we also outsource sla 3d printing so uh serve as far as the service industry is concerned i would i would be lying if i tell you that uh, you know this this technology can be used uh, the, as a service provider and in a budget of 1 lakhs it can be possible but then you have to plan accordingly like that yeah. so uh, what problems we will be facing if the same equipment i use for making toys for making a mechanical component or a biomedical component you know, for maintaining of the machine or uh, working with the machine 
what problems will face it if i frequently change the uh, product it doesn't see as far as your 3d printer is concerned whatever design you put tell the i mean whatever design you slice and tell your 3d printer to print it will print but the product that you are 3d printing your utilization how much pressure it is going to have it 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 makes a difference it it totally you know the the, the machine you are using needs to be different as far as a, like you said a bio product or a mechanical product for both of these there are different types of machines and for for something like a prototype fdm machines are used but again if you are repeatedly changing the product in in one specific machine it doesn't have a problem as as long as you know you keeping your maintaining your machine nicely so the things that you need to keep in mind while maintaining a material uh, your machine a 3d printer is that you have you keep it clean uh, you regularly oil it you, you need to make sure there's not a dust dust sitting on the on the filaments as well as the 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 printer because these these end up as clogs in your printer now as long as your filament is staying in an open area dust particles sit on it which with goes with the material inside the 3d printer and when when it comes out of the nozzle the plastic melts but the the the, the external materials like dust it won't melt so it keeps depositing in the in the nozzle so you have to make sure the area that that you are printing is clean and if if you make uh, plus like i said different materials need different uh, uh, environments to build uh, 3d print in so if you if you are printing if one product is made out of abs which has a higher melting point and and then you are printing on a pla which has a lower melting point so while while uh, printing in pla the second object you have to make sure that that the abs that you use in the first product is to be completely taken off removed from the first nozzle which is also easy you know you can increase the temperature before printing to uh, to a higher melting point and then pass on as much uh, pla through that so that it can push all the all the previous material out before you start the new print plus what i have it i have kept into practice is every time i change a material firstly i would until and unless necessary i do not experiment with new manufacturers new uh, different manufacturers because every manufacturer have would have even if they are both selling pla the the, the consistency the 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 materials used might differ in, in a lot of ways the chemical properties of these uh, materials can differ in 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 little bit pro, uh, proportions or ratios when which, which could totally change the melting temperatures the heating point of these 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 filaments so i do not experiment a lot with different manufacturers i am happy with i'll, I'll give you information on the manufacturer also that that i'm using as of now so which is very important that you know you don't play around with all of that uh, when you're changing the material you make sure that the previous material is out completely the uh, it is very important to know these environments also like if you are printing abs you cannot keep the in again a ac air condition room or or a place where the fan is right above the printer and it's constantly a printing or you could have an enclosure for the printer the like the one you see is back there it is a closed printer the whole technology fdm printer is inside a box so uh, temperature can be maintained in that so there are different ways for different things that can be overcome differently yes so these things need to be kept in mind so, and this comes with experience it with experience experience sorry sorry to cut you there experience holds a very key important before starting a business like i mentioned before it is not a machine that you bring it by it today and then you have a shop started today or in that week or so you have to gain experience different materials need different fine tuning of the machine which which comes with handling more and more different kind of products yes sir if you buy a uh, metal injection printing printer okay. in that can we melt uh, abs and pla or is there any lower limit of temperature or uh, that see when you talking about metal metal printers metal printers are at a very initial stage right now and like you see the cost wise also they are totally different technology if they they cannot they cannot be done with the same 
uh, filaments that you use for the the, the more commercial uh, 3D printers. It is a totally different technology. Like I said, uh, even materials that you use for FDM technology are materials are food safe, like PETG or PLA can be called food safe. But if you're if you're using this mechanical uh, this machine, which is FDM printing, which is also used for you know making models, uh, plastic models, then it is not. It doesn't become food safe once you have uh, printed. So a different specialized product needs a different kind of product uh, machine. You cannot use the same kind of machine for you know vaguely different. I mean, uh, drastically different products. Yep. Awesome. Sir, if I, if I have a machine with the one nozzle, uh, yeah. if I want to have the multicolor for the same machine, can I change the nozzles, uh, multi nozzles, and use it, or the entire different uh, equipment has to be uh, printer has to be purchased? Uh, there are different uh, equipment add-ons or modifications that you can do a printer to a printer. Now uh, there is a product called the Mozart or the Mosaic by Prusa. What happens is, uh, even though there is a single extruder, a single nozzle, there, that, with that, I'll, I'll see if I can share a picture with you. So what happens is there are different filaments that go inside a specific model uh, uh, and an add-on, this mosaic printer, and then it calculates how much uh, how much of that material of a specific color is going to be used at what portions and then it cuts those uh, filaments accordingly and then ex sends it to the machine and it extrudes but quite in my experience from the last four years it in the FDM, fdm technology it has not been quite successful or as, as far as you know commercial because at the end of the day uh, as far as art is concerned they are layers that are going to be shown on the product. So even if they are different colors, uh, you have to sand it and you have, like I said, you have to prime it also when you need to smooth it before and you're going to paint it. So it is not necessary. It is not important to have uh, a model in different colors. All the models that I make for artworks are, are made in the same white color filaments that I've been using from the last two years. Like I said, I don't experiment with a lot of different materials because at the end of the day, I'm going to paint on top of it. So it, I, I wouldn't advise it as a beginner, as a base starter, you, these, these, uh, these add-ons, these machines, these, uh, up, 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 upgrades to these printers have been helpful, but only to those who have already, you know, experience have quite some time in their experiences with 3d printing not at the starting stage not at least in the first two years i would suggest you use such kind of upgrades to your machines sir we have a uh, question also on chat box for 3d 3d printer most uh, as far as uh, editing is concerned stl and obg are two formats that are accepted by 3D printers. They slowly, slowly, there are more formats like 3MF coming up, coming out, you know, can be directly sliced. But as of now, STL and uh, OBJ are, are the opt, are the apt extension that can be used for 3D printing and the editing as well. Yeah. Any more questions? This is the last call. If you have any query, you can ask. I think all you had like three three day three day uh, uh, event, right? I think everyone's very tired tired already. Yeah, it's a five day event, and this is the five last day. paper. Okay, so everyone, so do they do they have there like an exam or something at the end of the day? Because I, I read someone says okay, there's an exam at four or something like that. Yeah, there is a short questionnaire uh, that's for as per the requirement of this project at all.
ओके थैंक यू मच सो मच सर फॉर योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम एंड एफर्ट्स यू हैव मेड फॉर पार्टिसिपेंट्स दोस आर सम वेयर टीचर्स इन यूनिवर्सिटी एंड कॉलेजेस एंड होपफुली दिस नॉलेज विल बी ट्रांसफर टू द स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो एंड वी ऑल आर थैंकफुल टू योर टाइम सर thank you thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much if if i have not touched some areas and if you not been able to you know express your questions or queries to me uh, i am always there on 3d through yeah, my instagram and youtube you know answering comments so if you get the time do have a check, do have a look at 3d printing vadodara and both these platforms and i think i i tried my best to you know it easy like i said easy the language and the the procedure and i'm trying my best to get bring out more time from my work and you know cover as many areas of post processing and 3d printing as much as possible and uh, thank you so much and please get in touch if if there are any ways i can help you i have a lot of resources as long as designs are concerned softwares are concerned uh, uh, editing is concerned plus you know tutorials for different uh, artworks softwares like zbrush i can give you professional tutorials provide you so i try my best to exploit you know to explore this this technology in my free time plus uh, show show people or you know promote this technology as much as this is the right time where 3d printing can do wonders where where you know there at one part we we uh, we banned china products at one point and we are we are, we are promoting atmanirbhar as a very uh as a very important thing so i think 3d printing we we can promote these this this technology uh you know and so it, and it's an easy task even students of school can get into 3d printing with with basic designing courses there are a lot of platforms in as far as designing concerned you don't have to have uh solid works or zbrush to get into these to for these uh age groups so this is this is the right medium to you know convert uh, an idea to into a technology into a product so keep keep uh, sharing keep promoting 3d printing keep spreading the love of 3d printing like like i do and uh, all the best for future to everyone yes yeah yeah sure sir thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you sir